This video is focused on off-camera lighting and how to use foreground and background objects to create epic images anywhere you want. Anywhere. Anywhere. Hello everybody, this is part four of my containment series on taking professional images in your own home using off-camera speed lighting. This is not a self-defense video, I do not know martial arts, and I am not a ninja. See? I'm not. I'm going to use these three hexagon wall hangings. I'm going to shoot through them. I'm going to use a speed light to illuminate them with mag gels and it's gonna be pretty cool. Let's check it out. As you see for this shot, I got my 70 to 200 lens. I'm shooting through these hectagons. I got one hectagon and then I got the two stacked on top of each other. And I'll be standing in the back of the bedroom right there. Now speed light number one, it has a blue magma gel on it. And it's gonna be illuminating the front of this wall hanging. Flash number two I just have sitting right here, directly pointing at these two other wall hangings stacked on top of each other. And the third flash is for me in the room. I'm gonna use an 8200 with a mag grid on it. All right, I got all my settings dialed in. My camera settings are at ISO 100, one one hundredth of a second shutter speed, and I have it at F11. The reason I have it at F11 is because the lens is so close to this first one here. I want to still see the shape of this hexagon and I want to see that one as well. They're still blurred out because it's pretty close and I'll still be nice and focused in the other room. So let's give it a give it a whirl. I got my self timer set at 10 seconds. I already focused on a spot where I'm going to be standing. So and again I used a stand to do that earlier. So I'll push the button there. All right, let's take a look. Pretty cool. Now, a lot of times before setting up a shot, I usually have a checklist in my brain of things I wanna do. And first, I usually pan the room and kinda of see if there's any objects or lighting that I can use for my image. Now, after that, I'll set my composition. I'll look in the back of the camera and picture the perfect frame I'm looking at, especially if I'm using any lamps or any other lighting in the room, I'll line it up so I can see what the vision is that I see, and then I'll try to create that. Now after finding the composition for the vision that I'm looking for, I'll set my camera settings to black out all the unwanted light in the room. And then I'll set up all my additional lights one at a time. I'll set up a light, I'll set the settings, Take a couple test shots, make sure it's the right light, and then I'll move on to the next. And I always save my last light for the key light or the one that's gonna be on my subject. So if I'm doing portraits with somebody, I'll set up the other lights first, get my scene, I'll put them in it, blast them, and we got ourselves a portrait. This next shot I'm using my 70 to 200. And I'm gonna use these hanging lamps for a foreground light. First one I'm gonna light up, the second one, I'm putting a speed light inside of it with a blue gel. You can see I'm just gonna take this speed light here with a blue gel, mag gel. I'm just gonna squeeze it inside of here and kind of set it in there. So you can see the dials right here, and it's just gonna reflect inside there. So let's give it a shot. So to go over it again, there is my camera. There's the first foreground light. Second foreground light is gonna be the speed light inside that one. And I am gonna be sitting right here in my computer chair. Now this last light setup is for the subject, which will be me. I have a half CTO gel on there, three mag grids on an AD200. And the reason I have three mag grids is because this little skinny hallway is just so tight 
I just do not want all this spill light bouncing around in the hallway. So I'm gonna be sitting right there on that chair, directing the light right at my face. So here I have my timer set at 10 seconds to give me enough time to go get situated. My ISO is set at 100, 1 800th of a second shutter speed and F4. Hit the timer, get in position, pose. And go check out the shot. Now, whether you use this specific setup or not, one of the main reasons I'm making this video is to show you that no matter where you are or what you're doing, there's no excuse not to go out and practice and just fine tune your craft. Like just by making this video alone today, I've learned a little bit more knowledge. I got a little bit quicker at setting up my lights to give me the confidence. So when I do go into a shoot or I'm at a wedding and I want to set up something in 10 minutes, I have that confidence and ability to do so. Thanks again for watching guys. And if you haven't already, don't forget to punch that subscribe button, click that bell, like this video, comment below if you have any questions, share with your friends. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out and I really need to stop talking right now.